Hey guys, what's going on? It's Wasim here again from Handsome Smiles and today I'm going to be doing a review of a utter, so a oil uh, from the house of Melifluence and the utter that I'm looking at today is Kai on Coal. So Kai on Coal is a fragrance and utter developed by Abdullah who's the perfumer at Melifluence because he was requested to create uh, a utter which smelled like a very uh, popular incense stick from a, uh, from a company, Japanese company called Baido, and Baido create these incense sticks, fragrant incense sticks called Kai On Ko, which this udder is based from. So, if you're not familiar what uh, what an incense stick is, it's basically like a, a stick with uh, some coating on it, and when you burn it, it creates a fragrance. So. That's a little bit of a background regarding Kai On Co. Uh, I'm just going to run through the notes for you and then I'm going to talk about how it smells like, its performance, suitability in terms of occasions to wear and then my overall rating. So at the top of Kai On Co from Melifluence, uh, you get clove, anise, cinnamon, frankincense and ambrette. The heart of the fragrance is mysore sandalwood, cedarwood, 1987 Indian patchouli. Indian deer musk and spike nard. The base of the fragrance is 1997 turmeric oleo, vetiver bourbon, benzoin resinoid, Malaysian oud, myrrh, Cambodian oud, and Thai oud. So a very strong, heavy note list. But what do I really get on my skin? As you would expect, when I applied uh, an utter which is based off uh, incense sticks. Kai On Ko from Baido, I immediately pick up a healthy dose of smokiness and a touch of spiciness as well. The opening sort of reminds me of tobacco because it has the, the smoky quality and has that spicy warm quality that you typically pick up from tobacco. The opening smokiness is, for me, it's a very genuine and authentic smell of incense. And the type of incense it reminds me of is these Indian incense sticks called Agarbati. Now Agarbati is like a very small thin stick which with coating on and when you burn it, it releases smoke or incense. And it's very fragrant and it makes your house smell lovely. So if you guys are interested, Google search Agarbati. I'm sure there's a lot of Etsy sellers or sellers on ebay that sell them and my in my family in my house whenever there's like a, a special occasion or fits eid which is a religious festival for muslims and um, my family burn these incense sticks to create a f nice fragrant feeling throughout the house because a lot of guests come over and you want your house to smell nice so the opening for me is very authentic and very genuine and one of the reasons why is because i once applied kai on co onto myself and uh, then I walked really quickly into my sister's room and as soon as I walked in the scent of Kai on Ko must have engulfed me because as soon as I walked in I said to my sister oh, are you burning any incense sticks or any agrabati or did you just burn some candles or something my sister just looked at me like what the hell are you talking about and then it clicked on to me that I was wearing Kai on Ko and the, the smell of the incense and the and the uh, smoke of the agrabati the that was picking up the smokiness was actually the udder itself and not uh, due to something else burning so the opening the smokiness the incense that you pick up is very very genuine as the fragrance develops so from the opening you get the really strong smoky uh touch of spiciness as well as the fragrance develops into the heart the smoky aspect of the scent eases so does the spiciness and the scent is then introduced to some earthy notes uh, and it's a little bit, a little bit disappointing that smokiness uh, uh, eases into the heart, but then it's, it's picked up by some earthiness. And then as the fragrance dries down onto your skin, for me, Kion Core does like a complete U-turn. It starts off this really smoky, slightly spicy scent, and when it dries down, it actually becomes a sweet, smooth, and a creamy scent. If and I'm sure you guys are not going to believe it or how it's done such a U-turn. But on my skin, on multiple, multiple testing and wearings, it starts off smoky and spicy and it dries down to be this sweet, creamy and a very, very smooth scent. And the smoothness, the creaminess, the slight sweetness that I pick up in the dry down, 
it gives me a very like a calming sort of feel it's very very soothing now the smoothness the sweetness possibly coming from the note of the benzoin but yeah this scent really does a u-turn a whole 180 degree turn in terms of scent profile cayenne core for me i wore this uh, multiple times in different periods throughout this year so far and on a number of occasions i actually got I actually received a lot of compliments wearing this now I don't talk about compliments a lot on my channel uh, because a lot of the time I'm wearing quite uh, niche fragrances which uh, the masses aren't quite into or quite are appealing to the general public I'm also wearing a lot of ouds a lot of others you know artisanal fragrances and uh, not fragrances like Sauvage or Blue de Chanel or all the other fragrances out there which you know go on to compliments and you know are that considered panty droppers or whatnot now this is not the case at all this is a very very artistic fragrance but i just wanted to uh, mention that i actually received a lot of compliments and the compliments i'm sure came from the dry down of this scent because it's so smooth it's so creamy it's so sweet it's very very pleasing in the dry down the opening smoke spice the heart earthiness but the dry down is just like this smooth creaminess so yeah i received quite a few compliments wearing this not that it matters for me compliments don't mean anything i wear fragrances due to the artistic feel and how it makes me feel compliments are just an added bonus i guess so in terms of uh, performance, Kion Call for me lasted around 6 hours and uh, for me I felt like throughout the scent that I, uh, that I wore it the projection was quite soft. Now that's how I felt but I was receiving a lot of notices and a lot of compliments so maybe I was experiencing nasal fatigue. Uh, the siage must have been good but the projection on myself I felt it was a little bit soft. For me overall rating for Kai and Co from the House of Mellifluence is going to be a 4 out of 5. Guys I hope you enjoyed this review, if you have then please do leave me a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already. Until next time my friends, see you later.